refurbished in the middle. I had a quiet minute. B went to pick barbecue up at the school with the baby. So I said, well, I'm here alone. I'm going to try to get this video in because I have been going crazy over this. I've been wanting to try it, but I knew if I didn't have some stages done, I couldn't get it done in a video. So um, I've got these chairs and I bought eight of them and I've got, they're all back in storage, but I pulled two out. I have a little cute table I'm going to put with them and I'm going to paint them um, gravel road and this little octagonal table is one of the ones where the lid flips up. But I'm going to do this in gravel road and do the grain sack white stripes coming down and probably do all this in white um, and then do the table too. So it's like a little cute little set. Um, but this material is a fairly easy material. It's a thick material, but it's all right. Um, but one thing I was excited about because I have never tried, I've never tried the boss on the fabric. So this is the boss right here. And this is, I put the boss on here too because I was being lazy and I didn't want to worry about bleed through, um, you know, because I'm on a time crunch. So, but I thought I would come and show you we could paint part of this together. Um, I'm just going to use my little brush. I'm getting it wet. Um, let's see, I didn't bring the boss. I've just got a can of the white boss open. So I'm gonna, I'm messy. <gasps> messy, messy, messy. And another thing too, I left my spray bottle. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my brush and dampen this a little, and I mean light, very, very light. If I had my spray bottle, it would just be super, light mist and this is probably more water than I would mist on there but I just like it it's sort I sort of feel like the same thing goes on with the fabric like our brushes when you dip them in water it opens up the bristles so they can get um, sucking in the paint and holding the paint and the bristles and stuff so I sort of feel like the fabric does that I may be wrong who knows but that's what I'm going with. Okay, I got our, our, our boss, and I thought this is going to be so fun to try and see um, how this works under our paint on fabric, because I know a lot of people, I know we use it on the, on the furniture all the time, so. And this fabric, too, is thicker. It's not as fluffy as corduroy, but it is, um, it's thick like that too. So I guess I better get moving here. Um, this is, I think this is neat. I love how all our products are in interchangeable. You can, almost everything you can, you can use together. So let's get going on the seat here. I'm trying to get caught up on all my commission work before we have our last Vintage Market Day show next month, which I'm very excited. We're going to be down in um, Charleston, and it's it's at the it's at the Lads and Fairgrounds. It's a really nice place too where they have it, so I'm excited, and it ought to be really great because it's going to be all kinds of Christmas and stuff. Um, it's, it's perfect. This will be the perfect market to go to because you could get a lot of your Christmas shopping done. Okay, all right. I could put a little more on there, but for the sake of us moving on, I'm gonna hold hold what we got. Okay, um, so I put that on. Now, this side, which you probably saw, was already done. I already had the boss put on there. So it's, and it's been sitting, probably two or three days because um, I was going to do it for a video for Dixie Belle um, on like they asked to do one video by the end of the year with a product that you've never done and yes I've painted furniture but I've never put our boss on it so that's why it's new so but anyways I've got one of my palm brushes and I know y'all know how I am about my brushes. I just, uh, I love them. And I have got the gravel road I've got poured in my bowl because it makes it a little easier with these brushes to, um, 
get them in this bowl than try to get them in the can. But they fit in the can really good. So there I've got that. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint over where I put put the boss. So um, I, this that was only one coat of boss, too. I might have probably could have put two. But honestly, the paint will cover it. You know, the paint will cover it. So I just was thinking, because this had so many dark, and it was such a dark, thick material that maybe that boss would keep it from um, soaking way in the chair. So that way you could, you know, put this coat down and then um, come back and put a second lighter coat. getting excited for our convention too. We're gonna to have a good convention. We got a great lineup of speakers and everybody's gonna, we're gonna have such a good time. Everybody's gonna learn a bunch of new stuff. I can't wait. Every convention I've gone to, I've learned something new and I just love it. And I meet somebody new too and I like that most of all. Okay. pretty good. I can still see through it, but I think uh, with the second coat of the paint, it'll get it. Let's do, let's do up here because this is already dry too. This brush is a lifesaver. Here, let me push it out. Yeah, there. This brush here for me is a lifesaver. <clears throat> I am, excuse me, so glad I found these because my hands are getting so bad. But that comes along with getting older, I guess. Okay, so that turned out pretty good, but I'm, I'm gonna have to put a second coat on there. I think maybe this side, when it dries, maybe I'll put a second coat of boss to see what happens. I know I've done these feet and stuff arms and legs plenty of times and I know that this will cover. Okay, I'm going to switch around to the back where I've got two coats on. Or not two coats. I've got a coat of boss and a good coat of um, the gravel road. So um, other than the boss that I got up on the top of the chair from painting it, I really could almost move along and leave that. But I'm going to go ahead and um, Put a get a coat on this right here. Put a put a light coat down. That's a really good coverage. And I did not have to wet this this second time. I'm just my still have my damp brush. Um, the chair was this was completely dry on the back, and I'm just gonna hit it real light with the my damp brush. So. It's, um, let's see, let me turn you down there. Look at those lines. I love that definition. <laughs> this paint is so great. I just can't get over how great it is. Okay, let's get one more coat here. Now, I didn't have to wet it again or nothing, and it just went right on. Covered everything up good. And this had um, one coat of boss, and then one coat of um, the gravel road, and this was a second light coat that I'm putting on. You can see a pattern, but you cannot see any color. You've got some nice darks and lows, and I hope that stays in there when it dries. We'll have to wait and see, um, see what happens to it. Uh, let's see, we're going to do this because I got this, all that's ready to go to. And like I said, I'm not sanding anything right now. I don't even know if I'm going to towards the end. I might, and if I do, I'll show you that because probably what I'm gonna do is um, use our spray wax. I like that for furniture. It works so good. It just makes your job a lot easier. Okay, let's turn you up there. Okay, there we go. There. Okay. Yeah. Looking 
good that covers. I know, I'm like, oh, okay, good, yep. <laughs> As you can imagine, it's probably pretty, pretty wild around here with me all day long. I definitely get off into my own little world. Okay, that's nice. That's going to be nice. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see the stripe down it and it with the little table. I think, too, I'll put um, maybe an IOD rub-on transfer on the table, too. So, and just, I think this is going to be really nice. I love this dark color with the white to use it for the grain sack look. Oh, and I got a little trick, too. I know I tell you guys, but I haven't told you all for a while. So let me get this and show you. Mm -mm. Um, you know, sometimes when you're doing dining room chairs and you have a wooden back and um, <clears throat> a fabric seat, well, what I do is I take... I just ran off random pictures and I do that and I have them for my classes because they make great edgers and this is a neat little tool that is so inexpensive you just go ahead say I was well I should really be using it so you can just go get it in there and then you could go when you go to paint you won't get extra paint, extra paint on the arm, the wood of the arm. And you can just leave it there for a minute or you can go, you know, you can pull it out. Sometimes I just leave it to let that dry one extra second. I know I'm not really worrying about it because I'm just not worried about it. But um, I just wanted to show you that. I think I have used that so many times, especially when I'm doing dining room chairs that have a fabric seat and a, um, wood and back and you can't remove the material and then here too this is a good good thing to show you so you can get right in there but you're not getting your paint gosh I hope you're seeing this there there okay so you could get right in here and get this chair and not get any on your um on the wood so it's just a neat little thing I always do, and I know a lot of you have already heard me talk about this. You can even go that way, and you can just hold it and work it around. And another nice thing is it just dries, and um, you can use it for something else. So that's a little, little thing, but I'm not worrying about it that much because I'll, I still got a little more stuff to do to these. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But I know it's gonna be this beautiful color and it's gonna have the white grain sack and I'm gonna do a table to go with it. So, um, like I said, once this dries, I, I probably will just take my sanding block, the fine, fine, fine one, and just gently go over it. And then I'm going to get my Easy Peasy Spray Wax and um, I'm going to spray it down and leave it. And it'll be fine and it'll feel like leather, not leather leather, but it feels like that, um, not suede either. It's almost like an in-between leather and suede, but it's still a leather feel. And I don't know, I haven't had any trouble. I never have chipping. It never cracks. Um, I think one of the things that's very important too that I can tell you about painting chairs, it's take your time. Really let those layers dry in between. Don't rush it. Um, like when I did the Union Jack chair, that took me a long time. It wasn't like it took me a bunch of hours. It just took me a long time because I really let each layer dry um, in between before I put another layer because I didn't want them piled all up and you know cracking and chipping off so if you just do that and I know I see a lot of people say they really saturate their furniture I have I just always use Dixie Bell so I can testify for this but 
I like I said, I just put a little dampness on there. I don't wet it or soak, you know, spray it down and soak it. To me, that just makes a huge mess and longer to dry. Our paint is it'll it'll just go on there and paint. You don't need to have all that water and stuff to soak that up to get that paint in. If your if it's your stroking is heavy. Well, just add a little extra water in your paint then. I wouldn't water it down by no means, but just make it a little more smoother than normal. And you won't have any troubles because it just, this paint is designed right and it does what it's supposed to do. Well, look at the back before I let you go. So see, there's the back, it's not quite dry. It's getting close because I didn't put a bunch of fluid on there, see? It's getting, that's already on my hand, none. So see, it's getting dry already. But I'm gonna, I'll let it sit and I won't do nothing to it and I'll get the front and everything done and it'll all be caught up. And then after it's sat a day or two, I'll go ahead and put my stripes on with my tape and paint my white stripes. And really you won't have hardly any bleed through or anything um, if you let this dry. So. That's what I got today, and um, I'm sorry I haven't been doing much. I really have been doing a lot. Ash and I have been traveling all over. We're like gypsies. We've had a good time, though, but um, I have a lot of other work that I'm trying to catch up. So um, that's all I got for now, and I've got a couple more videos I'm going to do. I thought I'd paint Santa's chair. Ooh, I can't believe I'm painting a chair for Santa. All right. See you later, guys.